All right, folks, here we go. This is from the good folks over at Johnny Lightning. This is the Muscle Cars USA series. This is a 1967 Pontiac G GTO. Oh, one of the great muscle cars of all time. And that's, of course, what this series was about. These were limited edition, uh, released in only 10,000. And what year were the quick find a copyright on the back? 1999. That sounds about right for when uh, playing Mantis was pretty much at its prime there. So a little over 20 years ago, uh, this is a pretty fantastic car. Nice, uh, sturdy die cast. You can hear it. You can hear the die cast in there. And I'm going to show you the rough scale. Uh, it's about 164th scale on that. We'll leave this here, get a photo for the catalog. And I'm going to show you the condition of this. This is a condition report. So first thing we're going to do is let the light shine off of the card. If I can get it, there we go. We'll let the light shine on all of the card here. An idea, uh, kind of uh, scrapes or scratches. A little bit of a bend in the card. You can see that right there. Backwards. That's normal. That's right. Some some loss for the color right here, and a slight little bit of a crease. Spider vein crease right there. A little bit of a ding on the corner. Get right like that. Uh, but that's about it. I want to show you the car though. That's pretty cool. And look at that GTO. Really, really nice. This is not one of the uh, White Lightning chase figures, fortunately. And you can see uh, right there. On the uh, see where the white background is. So looking through, there's a little tiny bit of discoloration. You can see it more here on this inner circle or uh, inner bubble than on the outer bubble, but a slight bit of yellowing discoloration to it. That's normal for a 20 year old car, but it's not super yellow or brittle yet. Again, it's mostly on that inner bubble. You can see the difference right here between this and this. But no uh, crush wear to that bubble, no breaks, no bends, no cracks on it. A little bit of uh, dust, as you might expect, from a car of this age. We'll flip it over on the back here, and what do we see? Light shine in here. We see pretty much just your typical shelf wear, except the other side of that crease. And you don't even see the little bend here. So the other side crease that we saw on the front. There you have it. Muscle Cars USA from the good folks over at Johnny Lightning. You can head on over to BigToyAuction.com where you can see this and all the other items we've got for you. Next up on the block, we have from Johnny Lightning. This is a pretty cool piece right here. This is uh, the X-Men. It's Logan. He comes with that collectible card right there. And he comes uh, on this old timey... <laughs> um, not not like not like Model A uh, Ford old timey, but a nice older uh, pickup truck with the uh, version there. Uh, pretty neat. the The effect that I like on this the most is can you see that right there where the windshield is smashed out? That's a really nice effect. So they took the uh, the outside part and uh, kind of fogged it up a little bit. They uh, frosted it. So that it looks like it's not actually broken, but it looks like the windshield is busted out. You get those claw marks on the side. You got to paint it up with the X-Men Wolverine and anything on the top. I'm surprised there's nothing on the top. Usually they put a little bit of that. What's going on here? I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but overall pretty cool. So uh, let's feast our eyes on that for a moment or two. This is not one of the White Lightning figures, unfortunately. Logo, is that a Winnebago logo? No, it just says X-Men, X-Men on the top. No X-Men, or uh, Winnebago made a, a trailer like that, so that makes sense. Uh, we'll show you the card while we're here. So I'm gonna let the light play off of it. The nice thing about these uh, videos or our condition reports is as the light shines, you can see just about all the issues it has. Um, 
In the catalog, it will look exactly like this. Well, that doesn't tell you a whole lot about it. It's nice to look at and it shows you how it'll display, but any minor little uh, dings and dents, it doesn't quite show you. That's why we do this. But even under those circumstances, I still have to point out, see that slight discoloration right there? A little bit of a spider vein crease. There. Uh, not the worst thing in the world, but for those of you, especially the folks that like to get these graded and such, we want you to know. There you go. This uh, corner has a little bit of a bend to it, but otherwise pretty good. The bubble, let's check that out. See how clear it is? Down to the white backing underneath. And it's free from any kind of crush wear, uh, cracks, dents, anything like that. Overall, a pretty good piece. Really neat card. Oh, and it's got this uh, giant 17-inch by 11-inch fold-out poster. Yeah, so I guess that's what's here. Card, so even better. What does that look like? I don't know. You'll need to... Uh, if you're, a, if you're one of those that'll crack this off the bubble and uh, display it, let me know. I'd love to see that poster. It looks pretty cool. I'm actually just curious more who the artist is. Nevertheless, neat piece right here. One last thing we'll do, we'll show you the, uh, the size marker on it. Haven't already. Give you an idea, it's about 1 64th scale. See that? Now you know everything you need to know about this. You know everything certainly that we know <laughs> about it. Make your decisions on how much you want this in your collection. Let us know over at thebigtoyauction.com. Leave your pre-bids right now and join us again on auction day. This piece in your collection, the Johnny Lightning X-Men Logan. Here you go. Here's a neat piece right here that almost slipped by us as we were uh, lotting these. Put a little size marker in there so you can see it's roughly... 164th scale. This is from Johnny Lightning right there. Um, it's a pretty old piece, over 20 years old here, I think, uh, or close to 20 years. We'll see it on the other side in a moment. Uh, so a little bit of discoloration, some uh, bleaching, some sun bleaching. So it must have been in an area where we're getting direct sunlight. Uh, and that you can see too on this bubble. I don't even have to turn it to the side to show you that Man, that's that's had some yellowing <laughs> to that bubble. So it's a, a, a tough one here because uh, with that kind of bubbling, and I will point out this crack. See that there? There is a crack in the bubble. Um, this would ordinarily be one that you'd take off the card, um, set it down, and uh, and display uh, separately probably would not display something like this in the card. However, the thing that I noticed was this is an actual signature. We looked up comps on this to see this, and this, I thought maybe it was a replica produced by Johnny Lightning. Nope, this was some probably young fan, took this to a, uh, a racing event, got Buddy Baker to sign it in Sharpie right there. I love that. I love that kind of provenance where they take it right up to the guy, have him sign it. Um, somebody really loved uh, oh, and a little crack right here. Another crack on the uh, thing. But loved uh, racing enough to go and find his his favorite, get the car at the store, bring it to the event. I, I love that. That's just that's just fun, fun stuff right there. That's people really enjoying their collectibles, really enjoying their collections, their memorabilia, their toys, etc. So it's tough. Uh, you want to keep it on there to to you know really enjoy that signature. But on the other hand, you probably want to display this. Probably your best bet is to get this removed and uh, carded with that. But again, we don't tell you how to collect. We just make a suggestion and I tell you what you need to know. So as for the rest of the card, it's actually in really, really good shape. A little bit of, like I said, discoloration. It was probably in some direct sunlight. It does come with that, that uh, Sharpie signature on it. Slight wear at the corners, which is normal especially if this fan probably carried it to to the uh the race watched the entire event with it on his person rather than just uh you know stick it in a star card put it up on a shelf somewhere but he really enjoyed this and had a good time with it a little ding right there so it's a tough one you uh obviously you collectors out there you know what to do with it yourself if you 
value keeping it on the card because of that signature, if you value taking it off because of the bubble, or if you just want to uh, do a combination. A good, uh, you take it to a place, I, I don't know if uh want to take it to the big graders, there are folks that will uh, cut this off very nicely, put it in a new display, a nice uh, acrylic case for you. It's Maze's company out there. APG, is that what he's calling it? Might do that for you. Uh, he makes some really nice cases, especially where grading is not involved. So I don't know. That's up to you folks. But either way, we're going to make this available to you. A lot of different collectors that all like to collect in different ways. And you can all join us at the auction at thebigtoyauction.com. You can leave your pre-bids right now at this moment while you figure out what it is you're going to do. And then join us again on auction day. Either way, we'd love to see somebody else get this really beloved piece and put it in their collection. Forward to seeing you.